if you have a dark skin, most probably you're coming from within the tropics. Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, you are along the equator. If you move to some places like USA, Canada, some places like UK, Russia, China, you are most probably going to suffer from vitamin D deficiency and also calcium deficiency. And we are going to see the reasons why. And also, have you noticed that during the cold seasons, you usually suffer mostly from the respiratory diseases. We are going to see the reason why this is. And also, have you noticed that uh, especially when someone is suffering from especially as, um, a viral infection, those respiratory viral infections, you give them a uh, bone soup, the recovery usually speeds up. So they're going to recover very fast because of giving them that bone soup. I'm sure by now you know where we are headed. And to add some spices, do you remember that during the COVID time, before it came to Africa, it was thought that uh, Africa would be the worst hit and actually it did not happen. Do you know the reason? Okay, actually, even before you get there, do you remember that during that COVID time, those who had dark skin and they were in the temperate region, they were among the worst hit by the pandemic. They suffered a lot. There's a reason to that. Now, let's go to why this is. Now, when you're living within the tropics, you're going to receive a lot of sunshine throughout the year, apart from some few months, some few days, actually. So you're going to receive a high dose or a high amount of uh, UV light throughout the year. And this is the reason why you will have to have a good amount of melanin for you to go through. And that's why those people who usually come from the temperate to uh, the tropical region, especially who comes to visit somewhere like Africa, you'll have to come with a sunscreen. Otherwise, you're going to suffer from sunburns or maybe you're going to predispose yourself from um, the skin cancers that should come from a high dose of UV light. And um, other people usually suffer from the same are albinos because they have an issue with their melanin. Melanin is very important for you when you're within the tropics, but it can be not a good thing when you're outside when you go to the temperate regions, because now you are carrying with you the same amount of melanin to the temperate region. Remember, in the temperate regions, sometimes they might get a tiny amount of sunshine because of the nature, because you definitely know they have their four seasons. So during the summer, the maximum amount. During uh, the winter, very little amount of sunshine. Now, the reason is because you have a lot of uh, melanin, that melanin is very essential when it comes to blocking that amount of UV when you're within the tropics. And it allows a tiny amount of that UV to pass through for your body to be able to manufacture vitamin D. This is very important because it now helps you to absorb calcium. You know, we have so many other functions of uh, vitamin D. And one of the major ones is the absorption of calcium. Calcium, like you definitely know, is very important. Calcium will uh, give you strong bones, strong teeth, it will give you a good immune system and this is where you're going to focus mostly on. And uh, when you go to the temperate region, you're carrying the same melanin with you, so it's not going to change, you're still going to be dark skinned. Meaning that uh, the tiny amount of sunshine that will be there will be advantageous to those people with less melanin, meaning that those who are white, they have less melanin, they're going to absorb a little bit more compared to you because you have a lot of melanin that's blocking that UV. So you're going to have a tiny amount passing through. And that's the reason why you start suffering from uh, vitamin D because now your skin is a major organ when it comes to the creation, the manufacture of that vitamin D. Like we said, it's very important in the body. So within the tropics, you are manufacturing a lot of that because throughout the year, you have calcium. Now, if you go to the temperate region, it means that um, you're going to have less of that sunshine. And uh, if even the locals, those who have a light skin, they still suffer from uh, that vitamin D deficiency. Now compare them, if they can also suffer from that, now what about you? You're also going to suffer. So it's very important for you to always make sure you supplement yourself with vitamin D. Mostly start with vitamin D before you treat calcium. Because probably you're getting enough calcium in your diet, but because you don't have enough vitamin D, which helps in absorption of that calcium, you're going to have uh, a calcium deficiency. So you might maybe start feeling that maybe your bones are becoming weaker, your teeth are becoming a little bit more sensitive and loose. And uh, you start suffering from uh, some viral infections. So you, you say that maybe this is calcium. You go to a hospital, they measure your calcium level. They find that you have less of that. So you start taking supplements for calcium. And um, you're still not going to recover because you don't have something that will help accelerate the absorption of that calcium from the food and even from the supplements that you're taking. So you're still going to suffer from the same. So unless you fix vitamin D, there's no way you're going to uh, recover from that. 
make sure you are getting enough of that vitamin D. Even those people usually go to some areas in the Middle East. Yes, they usually get yeah a good amount of sunshine, but then due to their high amount of sunshine outside, they spend most of their time indoors, and this will create the same problem. You're not getting enough uh, ultraviolet rays, UV lights. You're not getting enough of them, so you're not manufacturing enough of that vitamin D. You're going to suffer from calcium also. Now. Do you know the reason why mostly people suffer from, uh, by now, actually we've answered most of the things that we had, most of the questions that we had at the beginning of the video. Because during the cold seasons, mostly you're not going to get a lot of sunshine and this is going to affect your, the amount of uh, vitamin D that you have and this will affect the amount of calcium you have in the body and this calcium helps in you having a good immunity, immune system when it comes to signaling of some of the, uh, the immune cells and this is going to affect the signaling of some of the immune cells in your body and you're going to suffer from uh, those diseases. So, do you now know the reasons why mostly people are given the bone soup? Because now, Assuming that you have enough of that vitamin D, it means that uh, if you give someone enough of calcium, if you're not getting that, they're going to have enough calcium that will help in signaling of the cells, meaning that the immune cells will be so good at uh, combating whatever is in the body. And uh, that's why they usually recover very fast when you give them bo the, the bone soup. And especially if they have respiratory diseases. Trust me. Try this. Try to get um, maybe, okay, I actually don't encourage mostly the calcium supplements unless you don't, don't have anything. If you can be able to get that calcium from food, get that. Uh, try this. During or when you're approaching the cold seasons, um, increase your intake of uh, bone soup. You just take some bones, boil them until they become whitish, and then take that broth every day. Okay, if you can be able to access that on a daily basis, just do that. You'll notice a very huge difference between when you usually go through the same seasons in other years. Because this time, you have enough of that calcium. It's very important. Do you remember that during the COVID time, everyone was worrying about Africa because they were thinking that it would be the worst hit by the pandemic? And actually, do you remember also the, during the same time, the dark-skinned people were in the temperate region. Those were in uh, USA, Canada, uh, in China, uh, Russia, UK. They were the worst hit by the pandemic. Big reason is vitamin D. And also in Africa, do you remember that during June and July, we used to have a huge spike when it comes to COVID infections? By now you know, definitely, this is because of vitamin D. If you don't have enough of that, then definitely you're not going to be uh, well equipped to deal with the respiratory diseases. Now, if you have enough of that calcium, if you have enough of um, that vitamin D, then uh, most of those respiratory diseases are not going to be an issue to you at all.